Suman Bilo. Uh, Suleiman. Suleiman, okay. You have a ticket of parking during an emergency. Was this a snowstorm? Yes, it was. This was about two weeks ago, I believe. The car is registered in Hope. Yes, correct. So I used to live in Hope in Cranston, actually. Cranston, that's why. So I, I moved to the U.S. about 2014 from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Then I went to Cranston West for high school, then Bryant University for college. Then I recently finished my semester, but I'm going back for my MBA program there. So at, for the time being, I was living in Providence, which is when I recently got the ticket. Mm -hmm. Are you still at Brown? Uh, Bryant, yes. Bryant. But I'm going to be back in the fall for MBA in global finance. Mm -hmm. In global finance? Correct, yes. So what do you want to do? Uh, well, in all honesty, I want to own my own business. I want to be like the next, next Jeff Bezos before that market takes off. So it's kind of how, how I see it. Well, you have big dreams. Yes, sir. And that's the story of America. Immigrants, uh, you know, the Statue of Liberty says. Yeah, you know, it was a gift from the French. Welcomes immigrants to the United States. So I welcome my dad who came from the foreign country. It's a land of opportunity and it's hard work. Yes, sir. It's perseverance, it's dedication. It's actually funny you said that. I'm sorry, I just cut you off. I had to read a book. It was called Grit. And it's simply just talking about perseverance. This was like one of the first books I had to read going into my freshman year of college. And like reading that book, I was like, wow, like I actually can't wait to just meet very like different groups of people. And to be honest, this is my first time in front of a judge. And I will say when I was just sitting there watching how you were interacting with the various people, I would say you like set a good standard, like a good bar because I didn't expect a judge to be actually friendly and also trying to relate with people. And also you even having a conversation with the young man, I was like, that's literally the young kid seeing, okay, I can actually do something with my life. And if I actually wanted to, I could become a judge. So having someone like you up there is actually a good thing for the youth, so. Well, you're doing a pretty good job of buttering me up. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I'm just gonna stop it now. I'm just gonna stop it now. <laughs> Oh, I mean, you, that's all you're going to say? I thought you, you, you didn't finish, did you? No, nah, that's it. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to make a uh, prediction that you're going to be very successful, right? Amen. You, you, uh, that's the game plan. Yep. You, so long as you're willing to work hard. I am. Okay. Always. 24-7. So the ingredients, are, I mean, perseverance is the greatest quality. Just don't ever quit. No matter how bad, tough things get, you know, okay. just, just hang in there. I will, sir. You know. I'm going to give you a break on the ticket. Oh, thank you so much. So when you become a uh, billionaire like uh, Bezos, right? Yes, sir. You're going to come the back. The first thing I'm doing is I'm starting. A, I'm going to have a charity because I have to give back. That's the number one thing on my mind. Like, if I make it, at least like so, my first billion, a hundred million is going to go away from that into something for a good purpose. You're gonna, give, you're gonna give 10% of your first billion. Like the 10% is literally out of there from the start. Like I just know, like my, my what's called first billion is actually not a billion, it's 900 million. Okay, now if you had a billion today, today? who would you give the 100 million to? Uh, for one, cancer and kids in need. Okay, sir, the case is dismissed. Good luck to you. Thank you so much, sir.